Okay, so today I'm going to take you through Kratos Studio, uh, which is a new sound effects design platform that allows you to create your own sound effects really quickly and easily for the simple UI. Um, it allows you to design um, many, many different types of sound effects and categories and subcategories. Um, do it quickly and easily, and it, rather than searching for individual files and editing them, it allows you to customize, get your own unique effects, get the right sound for your project, for your scene, get it right into your um, editor, and get working really, really quickly. So um, let's dive in and take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is from this side menu here, I'm going to load up the City preset, and let's take a listen. So as you can see, um, as soon as I load a preset, um, Pro Studio starts to generate, um, in this case, generate the city environment. Um, from the simple controls, I can I can adjust the layers that are part of that environment. So, for example, here, increasing the amount of traffic that's introduced into the environment. Um, here, I can decrease the likelihood of horns being introduced or increase the sirens as they're being generated. Um, and maybe I'm just going to zoom back, hear the city from a little little more of a distance, um, and then just balance the elements of these things as they're generated here. Okay, cool. So once it's in place, um, I'm just going to let the software generate this environment. Um, it does so in a really um, naturalistic way, so it's not going to repeat. Um, it's going to create a unique version of this city every time you run it. So um, it can last as long as you like. It can be in either a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes long. Uh, and this process is going to work in the same way every time. Okay, so you notice here that we've got our recording indicator here. Um, as soon as I now stop, you'll see this recording indicator uh, changes. Uh, and now we can actually drag the recording for everything we just did direct to the timeline. So um, I'm running Cross Studio here as a standalone on top of DaVinci Resolve. So I'm going to pick up my um, recording of my city and drag it right to the timeline. And now I can play that back. So um, that is um, captured the performance of everything I just did. So this workflow applies to any of the use cases that you use in the, in the software um, and allows you to experiment and get versions directly from the plugin directly into your timeline really really fast um, you can also drag and drop these recordings to anywhere so you could drag it to your desktop to a folder um, wherever it is that's helpful for you all right so you can see under ambiences here we've got loads and loads of these different environments from countryside building sites beaches marshes different types of cities indoor and external all these types of um, scenarios are going to be really helpful in, in generating content um, so that workflow is going to uh, be exactly the same for all these different types of scenarios. So let's take a look at a different category and see how that works. So going to cinematic, I'm going to load the dark entry preset. Um, you'll see that the, um, the UI here has changed slightly. Uh, so now we've got a different um, set of simple controls, but it's still really easy to um, produce a really high quality effect. So here I'm just going to click and move uh, to generate this cinematic effect. So there we go, we've created a really cool cinematic trailer type um, effect just from scratch. So again, I'm going to pick that up, drag that to my timeline. Um, maybe I think that one wasn't quite right. I'm going to try a different take on that this time by clicking and moving in a different way. Cool. So again, I can pick up anything that I do. As soon as the interaction stops and the recording stops, you can pick up and take that recording, get it straight to the timeline. Um, let's look at another use case. So going to my footsteps category, we see we've got loads and loads of different types of footsteps. I've loaded the uh, Boots Urban preset here. Um, and just by clicking, I can generate steps over different concrete urban style um, surfaces. It'll walk as fast as I like based on how, how I'm clicking. Um, and just by moving across these different surfaces, we can get combinations and blends of surfaces. We can scuff and stop based on where we are in, in, com in combination with these surfaces. And again, every time I do something, I can pick it up and drag it straight to my timeline and get using it in my project. So it's a super fast way of getting the exact sound that you're looking for um, across lots of different types of scenarios. Um, let's look, take a look at some another category and another way of working. So I'm going to go to my Foley category. So again, here we've got loads of different types of things from doors, um, Foley stuff, um, switches, keyboards, all sorts. Um, and the idea here is that every month um, the platform expands with new presets and new content. So it's always expanding. So soon you'll always be able to find exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to type in the search panel here to go to cloth. There we go. I'm going to load the basic cloth preset. So I can use this really quickly to perform and uh, design some cloth movement for a scene. So I can simply click and move. And all of a sudden, I've got this really realistic, really intuitive uh, movement that I could perform exactly to some footage. On this side here, we've got the material that I'm actually performing. So here I've got a combination of jacket and bag. Um, if I move the puck down to the bottom left-hand corner, 
characters now just wearing a leather jacket. I can insert there some keys into their pocket there here by just blending in some keys. And just depending on how I'm performing, how I'm moving my mouse, I'm getting a different performance from the software. Now I can perform this directly in sync with uh, my footage and just put this straight in. If it's slightly out of sync, I've just got a few tiny little edits I could make um, and then we're good to go. Um, so let's explore a little bit more and see what else we can do here. So um, the, the wish category is a really interesting way of making wishes. So for example, loading up a wish patch here, um, I can adjust the sort of material that's going to my wish and then perform this just by moving the mouse again. Cool, that's a nice little trend, the nice little one I can use um, on the edit between some scenes. Um, let's try it again. I'm going to go a bit slower this time. Great, so now I've got a different iteration. Maybe I tried this first one here in the edit, it didn't feel quite right. So instead of having to go and search, try and find the exact timbre, texture, duration of file, I can actually perform that myself and just pop it straight into my edit and move on. Other things that we've added, uh, there's now a new weather category, super cool way of designing anything that uses wind or rain or any sort of environmental recording. So for example, loading up the wind interior preset, we've got a number of different perspectives so if i move to the, the kind of the window perspective i can then turn up and turn down the intensity to get a more intense wind from that perspective i could then move dynamically across to a different type of wind from a different perspective just to match what's going on i can then set the right intensity level and that will generate for as long as i need it of course i can stop that at any point take that over drag it into my uh, session. Let's say I want another layer of wind as well. So here we've got a more of an exterior one of wind blowing through trees. Again, if I turn the intensity up here, maybe I want a little less of the sort of leaves and trees. And I can ride the intensity level here to actually perform this mix of things that are automatically being generated on the fly. Now if I dial that back and stop. I could then also layer that on top of the other wind recording that I've just dragged dragged together. So you see, see that the software becomes this really powerful kind of sandbox where you can explore um, combining different takes of the same preset or the same category or combining any of these things together to really paint a really uh, vivid audio picture that you're performing and you're um, controlling yourself. Um, so this is a really powerful way of working that um, is going to scale over time as we add more and more of these presets. Um, there's loads more categories and loads more things here that I haven't shown you today. This is just a quick introduction of the main features that's happening here in uh, Kratos Studio.